What's going on guys and girls, it's Dragon, let's get back again for another Duel Links content video, today we're jumping in, finally jumping in with the opening for the Blazing Rose main box, we finally have the one and only Black Rose Dragon, it's finally now in the game, not just as Mark of the Dragon foot skill, it is now actually here in the game, and it's kind of crazy to think, because it might actually be pretty, pretty darn amazing to actually have this card in the game now, just because its effect is like, it really, it's insanity. But um, I was I was actually I'm pretty excited for this box this time around. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool. Because I wasn't excited too much. This is the first box I've been excited for in a while, actually. Not in a while, but like that I was actually excited for that didn't drop on me. Like the couple of mini boxes before, I was like, oh man, I'm not really excited, and then they drop them. Like, oh my god, they're actually really good, and I am excited. But um, this one I actually <laughs> really excited to get into it, basically. I keep how many times can I say excited in a sentence? But, um, yeah, so we're going to dip in, we're going to review the Ultras, and we're going to review the SRs, and then we'll do our 500 free packs, and then we'll review whatever we pull as well. I don't want to go just sit here all day, go through all these cards. Um, I probably won't get through every card today, but I do, uh, yeah, I do have some gems stockpiled for this. I know it's only 40 packs. Um, almost close to 50 packs there, but I might spend a bit of money just for you guys. Honestly, just, I only spend money... I'm only going to spend money just for the sake of the content. If I wasn't making content, I wouldn't bother. Uh, not that I'm getting any investment back off of this, as in I'm not making any money off of YouTube right now, but it's still it's still good to get the content out right away, and um, it's, it's, um, get started on that right away, so I can you know hopefully get more views and stuff like that. So, for the Ultras, though, obviously Black Rose Dragon. If you don't know what Black Rose Dragon does, which I'm guessing you all do since it was in the game already, but I'm part of a skill. But in case you do not know, I will go through it. Um, I will go through it. So, when this card is synchronous, it's one turn plus one or more non tuner obviously, and simple, straightforward. When this card is synchronous, I mean, you can destroy all cards on the field. That right there is just all cards, spells and traps, gone. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, rest of the room. So, yeah. I'm sorry. At uh, once per turn, you can banish one plant monster from your grave. The target one plant position monster controls. Change that target to face up attack position. If you do, it becomes zero until the end of the turn. So you won't use that effect probably to the following turn because when you sync or summon, everything's going bye bye. Uh, unless stuff is unaffected by card effects, I guess. But um, but your opponent has to has to be in defense position for that to activate. So that's not even the, that effect is situational. Um, I guess the but the f the main effect of Black Rose Dragon is destroy everything on the field when it's sync or summon. Uh, Reason that makes this card OP is uh, frick, and it's a beautiful card. It's an amazing card. I love this card so much. Um, so it's really great. Um, so for the next one, we're going to be using Vermilion Dragon Mech. So this guy is cool. <laughs> wow, this guy's really cool. So what this guy does basically is one turner plus one on two It's a machine, but it doesn't require any machine type monsters. Once per turn, you can bash one two monster from your hand, fill out a graveyard, then target one card in the field, destroy it. That's a freaking good effect because that's you can banish one turner from basically anywhere in the board if you have it. Anywhere your hand, you're feeling the grip. You can banish from anywhere and it's gone. Really, really good effect. And um, then target one card. Yes, right. If this card is synchro summon. If this is, if this synchro summon card is destroyed by card effect instead of the grab, you can target one of your banished two monsters add to your hand. It's a nice little way to pop a card. Also, recycling as well. This is crazy. And then the card, and then the next ultra that we are the next ultra that we um discussed in the um. In that, in our red eyes Amazon's deck that we were ha on Friday, there is Black Metal Dragon, which works in combo with Red Eyes Baby Dragon. So what it does is you can target one Red Eyes Monster Control, except Red Eyes Beach Chick, equip this uh, monster from your hand or the field that target gains six attack. If the card is sent to the field to the graveyard, um, you can add one Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand. So it's a searcher for Red Eyes Fusion again. It's an extra way to search for Red Eyes Fusion. Or you can use that even to search, uh, search Red Eyes Insight and then use Red Eyes Insight into Red Eyes Fusion. So if you want to do that in long, long winded way, but you can do that if you want. I don't think it's the best card in the world. I was expecting with the new, like the way with the new, so I knew when this box dropped or when the leaks came out, I knew that we were getting new Red Eyes support. It had to be. It was the perfect time for the release that Red Eyes structure deck and then release a box, the next box, and have Red Eyes support in it. But I, what I didn't expect is. We didn't get a single new fusion, which I thought was the main reason why we got Red Eyes Fusion in the freaking first place, because it's a really, really good card, and it can easily summon the Red Eyes Fusions, but we didn't get a Red Eyes Fusion, which is, uh, I'm okay with, it's fine, it's just, I, it, I'm not angry, it just caught me off guard, that's all, and um, I'm happy with the Red Eyes board that we got, which is cool, so I'm really happy that we got that, um, which is surprised we didn't get a new fusion, that's all. So that's pretty cool, we can use that with Red Eyes Paper Jungle. Next card, we have Deus Ex Crawler. Uh, 
big looking boy. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this face down monster, quick effect, you can change this card to face up attack position, or defense position, face up attack position, negate the activation if you do destroy, this, destroy that card. After the card is flipped face up in the monster zone, negate all monsters' effects activated on your opponent's field. Holy hell. If this card is on the field and drop a bell card effect, you can add one, you can add Premier deck 1 level 9 <laughs> monster with a different original type and attribute than this card. So we got a bunch of Deus Ex cards in here or something? Um, maybe? No? No? No Deus Ex cards? Uh, okay. Weird. Uh, that's a weird card. I don't know what way you're going to use that way, but that's weird. Uh, oh, we have a, another one. Now we, uh, okay, interesting. So that's a, yeah, it's fake Deus Ex on the Now we have. No. Now we have Crawler Spine. Um, which is flip card is flip, uh, which is flip effect as well. It's a two star twenty one hundred defense point monster. It's actually really good. You go target one face up monster to feel destroy it. So like man eared bug, mm, magician that magician card. Um, pretty cool. This card is in its owner's. Uh, if this card in its owner's control leaves the field and become a, because of opponent's card effect, you can special summon two crawler monsters with different names from your deck and face down face position. Okay, so that's how you. Yeah, him out. I was wondering, this guy's at 9 stars, like, how do you get this guy? But you basically use Crawler Spine. Situational, though, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. Um, and then we actually have one of the, um, I think, one of the bigger, as far as I know. Let me just do a quick uh, Google search. I think this is one of the, is this one of the bigger, one of the more popular archetypes in TCG with the World Legacy? Uh, um, World Legacy thing. I think that's one of the bigger archetypes in the main box, and or in the TCG, one of the used archetypes. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure though. When this card is flip summoned, you can special summon. You can special summon this card from your hand. When a monster is flip summoned, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, yeah, really good actually. This card is normal summon special summon. You can add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. This card is this is normal summon slash set card. In your hand, no, sorry. This normal summon. If, if this normal summon set card is on the field, oh my god, you could target one face up monster that was special summon from the extra deck. Return both that monster and this card to the hand. Okay, that's weird. He's effective world legacy world armor once per turn. That's an interesting card. That's actually kind of cool. Pretty easy to summon, like as well. In 2500, 20, 2500, 2500, easy enough to summon. I don't know about that second effect, but the first effect to getting it on the board is pretty cool. Um, and now we have Keeper of the Shrine, which is actually a card in the TCG, which is not obviously it's a card in the TCG, but it's a card that's in the but a card in the TCG. It's not really that good, I don't think, but it's good in might be good in Duel Links. Um, this card will work in your Blue Eyes decks and your Red Eyes decks, and maybe some other Dragon decks as well, some other Rogue Dragon decks. So this card is tribute. This card is treated as two tributes. So treat. Oh my god, I can't speak today. This card is treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a dragon mon type monster. Well, this card is in your head or graveyard. If a face up dragon type monster on the field, except Keeper of the Shrine, is sent to the graveyard by card effect or because it was destroyed by battle, you can special on this card. And then, if if that monster is sent to the graveyard is a normal monster, you can add one dragon type normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. So that's why it's good in a blue eyes or a red eyes deck, because it's for normal monsters. So it's pretty cool. I do like it. It's interesting. I can't wait to see the kind of different blue eyes or red eyes decks that revolve around that. Then we have Miracle of Fertilizer, which is once per turn you can target one plant type monster in your graveyard, special summon the target. You cannot normal summon a set during the turn you special summon with this effect, even if this card leaves the field. If always oh, a continuous spell. If this card if this if a monster is special summoned by this effect leaves the field, destroy this card. Okay, that's a weird card. I guess it could be kind of cool in the plant deck. I'm not too sure how good it would work in a black rose deck, considering it gets bopped off the board. Um, but pretty cool. Uh, and now, not not the card, but the, one of the cards, a part of the basically the most or the biggest archetype in this box, which is Metaphys, or Metaphys, Metaphys, whatever. I'm gonna say Metaphys, Metaphys Dimension. That's not the card, but the Metaphys archetype alone is what's the most besides Black Rose Dragon, I think is what the front runner for this deck. Uh, um, it seems to be. I've faced one today, actually, but I faced one before I even started. This. I before I even looked at this box, I didn't really know much about it, the cards in here, so I faced this. I was caught off guard, and I got absolutely shrecked by it. So it was kind of cool, but I've seen people posting vids and stuff on it, and it looks like a really good archetype. So this is Metaphys Dimension. If you're it's all about banishing. If your opponent special summons a monster, step during the step, you can target one of your banished Metaphys monsters, special summon, but banish it. 
you have, you're in the unfazed the next turn. If your other metaphys card in its owner's possession is banished while well, this card is already face up in your spell and trap, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You use defective uh, metaphys dimension. So it's a bit like um, dimensional prism. Um, or dimensional prison. I always say prism for some reason. Prison. Dimensional prism. It's a bit like that. Uh, um, so it's a bit like that, it's a bit like a long-winded one of those, but that's what it's like. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, that's pretty cool, I like that. Um, so that's interesting, that's what fun, I mean, that's the ultra rare for the box. So, for the SRs we got the Blackstone Legend, which is the other card that I was talking about on Friday's video. Probably didn't see that, in case you didn't see that. Your tribute is cursed special someone 7, or lower red eyes monster from your deck. Except for B chick, obviously, because it's all the effects. If this card is in, in your graveyard, you can target one level 7 or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard. Except B chick, shuffle it into the deck. And if you do add this card to your hand, you know, you defect the black stone of legend once per turn. Pretty cool. Not as good as like white stone of ancient or white stone of legend. Well, no, white stone of legend is just add a blue eyes to your hand, so that, that, that counts. But the black, the white stone of legend, uh, the white stone of ancients, um, not as good as that, but it's a, basically it's one for red eyes, which is not bad. Uh, which is actually not bad. In fact, it's a quick. You can tribute this card to spell someone level seven or lower. Level seven or lower red eyes monster from your deck. So that's a pretty cool. In fact, an easy, nice way to summon red eyes. It's obviously not a tuner. Like like white sun of agents and white sun of uh, legend is a tuner, but that's only because blue eyes are all focused around synchros, while red eyes are all focused around fusions. So that's not a tuner. Um, obviously. And then we have the other one. The other red eyes support is red eyes baby dragon. So we have red eyes baby dragon, black sun legend, and black metal dragon. Those are all the new support. Uh, and then we have red eyes metal. Red Eyes Metal Dragon. We have Red Eyes Baby Dragon. When this card is true, up at balance at the grave, we can special one 7 or lower Red Eyes Monster from your deck. So, pretty cool. Nice little quick way of getting a Red Eyes on board. If you do equip this card to the graveyard against your attack. If this, card is, if this card is sent to the graveyard when it will equip to a monster, you can add one level 1 Dragon type monster from your deck to your graveyard. Deck or graveyard to your hand. That's why I was saying in that Friday's vid that I was saying this works with Red Eyes Metal Dragon. So, that's pretty cool. And then the next SR, which is Metaphys Daedalus, uh, which is another <laughs> pretty insane card. If this card is special summoned by effect of a Metaphys monster, you can banish all other face up special summon monsters on the field. If this card is banished during the damage or during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle this banished card into the deck. Banish one Metaphys monster card from your deck except Daedalus. So, nice way, and that's a little recycling again. Pretty cool. Then we have Crawler Axon, so this is the other Crawler card. Um, he's here in text. Flip. Flip effect. Just target one spell and trap and destroy it. Okay, I'm really, I'm actually kind of excited to try these guys out. They don't look like the best thing in the world, but they might be kind of fun to mess around with. So you can target one spell and trap on the field, destroy it. This card in its owner's control leaves the field because of the opponent's card effect. You can special summon two crawler monsters, different names from your deck of face down defense position, except Aeon. You can only use defective Aeon once per turn. It's pretty cool. And then the other. Oh, this is a mouthful. This is, honestly, I think it's one of the best cards. Maybe in a sub or in a sub. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. Sorry, this is the other archetype, not the Metaphys deck. This is the other cool archetype as well, which is sub terror deck, which is sub terror behemoth, which I think is an under good archetype in the TCG. So this is sub terror behemoth. You uh, you Masterix, you Masterix, sub terror behemoth, you Masterix. Uh, this is a flip effect as well, which is interesting. So you can target one flip. You can target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. Pretty cool. You know, the effect of sub terror behemoth. You you Masterix it once. Once per turn. When a face up monster you control is flipped face down. Okay. If you control no monsters, you can special this card from your hand in defense position. Once per Wow, once per you can change this card to face down defense position. So that's cool. So it's like a beer guy effect in a way. Pretty cool. I wanna try plow trees these real quick because we're I don't wanna go too long. Next we have Rose Paladin, which is for your black rose uh, effects. So when it's Card destroys an opponent's monster by balance sent to the graveyard. You can tribute this card and special one plant type monster from your hand or deck in defense position. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to add one level seven or higher plant type monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Rose Pal once per turn. It's a pretty cool card, actually. That's really nice. Um, one level seven. I think you can use that in combination with this guy or with this girl. At Titanial, Titanial, uh, Princess of Camillas, uh, Camillas. Uh, during your player's turn, when a card effect attack, or when a card effect, when a card or effect that targets a card on the field is activated, you can tribute one face up plant monster, negate the activation if you do destroy it. It's an interesting card. Um, so that's, you can use that with uh, this, I guess. You can tribute this card to special one plant monster from your hand or deck in defense position. So yeah, you can do that because this guy is a seven. This girl is an eight star, so it's a two tribute, so it's kind of hard to summon. So you can use that effect to use Rose Paladin to grab this, which is kind of cool. Then we have. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's this was uh, Konami 
I love you, Leo, and everything, but there are some cards out there that are just strange and beyond. I don't know why are made, and this would be one of them, which is Cockadoodle Doo. Um, weird. If there are no monster defeats, especially on this card from your hand as a level three monster, a good effect as well. It's a level three tuner, so it's a good effect, but it's just a weird card. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no cards, you can special on this card as a level four monster. This card is face up and you to the badge instead. That's so. It's a cool card. It's a nice. It's a good tuner. I can't wait to maybe play with it, play around with it a bit. Could be kind of cool. It's just. I mean, it's not that much of a weird card. It's easy enough to understand. It's card to lose such a chicken, so it, you know, clocks or whatever. But it's just. I don't know what's. I don't know what Koju kind of was when they made it. It's interesting. Now we have Boogie Trap. So it's a Booby Trap. Boogie Trap. As you know, it's got the guitar. Uh, or, sorry, is that a ukulele? Uh, is that, no, it's a guitar. It's a guitar. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna move on. Discard two cards and target one trap in your grave. It's set that target. It can be activated this turn. So it's cool. It's a nice way to activate a trap the turn you grab it, I guess. And then we have Sub Terror Final Battle. So this is a cool card. Alright, this could be. Uh, activate one of these effects. After that, set this card face down as, instead of sending it to reference. So that's cool. It's a bit like a scrapper and scarecrow. Change one set sub terra monster in the field to face up attack or defense position. So that's really good, actually. Change one face up sub terra monster in the field to face down defense position. Uh, attack and defense of one sub terra monster in the field becomes the equal to the combined original attack and defense of it until the end of the turn. Oh my god. This turn activated effects of sub terra cards cannot be negated. Okay, that's definitely a card you're gonna want in a sub terra deck. I see you might want two two or three of those at least. That looks like a really good card. And for the last SR we have Liberty at last, which I actually can which I saw being used, which is kind of interesting. It's it's weird. It's like a treacherous but when a monster's destroyed and put it back in the deck instead of destroying it. So when a monster effect when a monster you control is drop a belt inside the grave, target two face up monsters in the field, shuffle those targets into the deck. So it's a bit like treacherous and um, it's a bit like treacherous and it's weird. You could honestly use it in the uh, Bunga Bunga trap meme deck. Could be kind of cool, I don't know. Um, so that's it for the SRs and the ultras. Really, really cool SRs and the ultras. I won't go over these, I'll go over some of the ones that we pulled them and then I might go over. Uh, cards. I might go over some when duels over or when things over. We're already pushing 70 minutes, so let's get them with the free 10 packs. Uh, the f not the free 10 packs, but the free 5 and the gems you get from the 10 packs. Uh, so we are starting right off. I also picked. I also picked the Kiza. I thought it was pretty fitting. Black Rose Dragon and everything like that. So can, you, can we get the Black Rose right away? Yeah, be cool. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. So we're, oh my God, real Okami. Oh, this card. I don't know. How many of you like? It's, it's just, it was real Kami, wasn't it? I think I don't know if you many people watch TCG content or something, or just specifically Duel Links content. But I remember this card. If you watch Simply Unlucky YouTube or Simply Unlucky, who does TCG content, not uh, not Duel Links content anymore. Anyway, he used to do it at the start, but not anymore. Doesn't have time, I think. Um, this was a card he made like a whole funny thing with this card. I thought was hilarious. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but. Man, just seeing that card makes me laugh. So if your opponent special is a monster, you could send one card from the ex their extra deck to the graveyard. That's weird. It's a, it's not good, it's just funny. Uh, and vanilla. Oh, I always saw somebody get triggered on the subreddit about this. They're like, why does this exist? I mean, it's a 2050 defense monster. It's got decent defense for a level 1 vanilla. I'm not saying it's a good card, but it's just weird. This rabbit's got a sweet tooth. He's on a quest for the world's sweetest carrot, and he just wants a nibble carrot all day. Tomorrow, the day after that. This is another card where I'm like, Konami, what? Um, but I get why he said it, and of course we, of course you want, know of course we grab Kaka. I'm just gonna move on. Ah, uh, Jesus. So we have sub third behemoth Stegalamo. Stegal, Stal, It's like Stalag Mice Stalag Tights. I get it, but Stalagamo, Stalagamo. Oh, but that's a hard effect. That's hard to read. Flip, you can discard one sub terra monster. It's not that hard, but it's small enough. If you can discard one sub terra monster, if you do draw two cards, that's cool. You could use the effect of sub terra behemoth once per turn. That's like, you could keep doing that. You can keep, this is like a pot of greed kind of guy. Once per turn, when a face up monster you control is flipped face down, you, if you control face up monsters, you can special on this card from your hand to face down. In, or in defense position, once per turn, you can change this card to face down. Defense position. So probably all have that secondary effect. That's kind of cool. Influence Dragon. This guy is looking weird. Once per turn, you can target one face up monster you control. It becomes dragon type until the end of the phase. And it's a tuner. It's pretty good. So if Queen Angel of Roses, you could tribute summon this card in phase of protection by tributing one plant type monster. That's good. That's actually really good. Monster during standby phase destroy one phase of monster in the field. 
has the lowest attack. Your choice of tide. That could be kind of cool because you could use that in a like an arm arm mage deck because you if you're constantly buffing your arm mage's attacks with you know with aroma garden so your opponent's life point monsters are attack are always going to be kind of low. So although you want to be careful if you have uh, Jasmine on the board because is it Jasmine? Jasmine? Jasmine, the one with the 200 attack. It, it's going to have low attack, 600 attack only, but I think that could be kind of cool in the Aramage deck, honestly. Uh, Gun Dragon, G Guar Dragon, Prominus, Prominus, Promin oh, whatever. <laughs> you can set his card from your hand or field to grave a target one dragon type monster control. It gains 500 attack and defense until the end of the your opponent's turn. That's cool. If normal monster is sent to the graveyard while this card is in the graveyard, except you're in depth stuff, you can special this card, banish it when it leaves the field. That's a cool effect, but the fact. But it's not really because it's just a one star and a normal dragon. If it would have been a one star tuner, I could see maybe a bit of play with that, but with it being just a normal card, I don't think it's going to really be that much decent. <laughs> Again, wh why? <laughs> uh, Fallen Angel of Roses. This oh, the, the Roses cards are so cool looking. You, you can special summon this card from your hand by returning one plant, plant monster control to the hand. Except Fallen Angel of Roses, but by the leaves the field. Even though that's all it has, even though that's all its effects it has, it doesn't have any. You know, it doesn't have any uh, secondary effect. It's still pretty cool. It might be kind of cool. Subterra Behemoth is a special spell. Spell Logist. Spell Logist. Um, flip. Obviously, they're all flips. You can target one monster in the field, change it to face up attack position. It is, if it is in face up defense position, or if it is in defense position, also change the attack to zero. Okay. You can use the effect of Subterra uh, Behemoth once per turn. When the face up monster is flipped down, you control. Yeah, special discovery. Right? Subterra Nemesis Warrior. Uh, during your player's turn, you can send one subterra monster from your hand back to the graveyard. Tribute this card and at least one other monster. You, monster, you could tribute this card and at least one other monster, so the total original level is equal to the level of that subterra monster in the graveyard. So, is that just your monsters, or is that all monsters on the field? I can't really tell. If you special summon that monster, face down defense position. If a subterra monster is flipped to face up all this card is in your graveyard, you can special this card. That's cool, actually. That's kind of good. Defective subterra. Once per turn, that's actually pretty good. And your subterra behemoth, uh, stego, stego, stego kraken. Um, your test of here. You can target one sex card in the field equal to the number of um, but subterra behemoth monsters you control. Destroy them. So there's your spell and spell and trap destroyer. Um, or well, your spell and trap destroyer are also your monsters if they're set. Also the monsters if they are set. You can use the effects of the terror uh, kraken once per turn when a face up card is the face up. Blah blah blah. Yeah, same effect. They all have that effect. Can I get another thing? I'm just gonna get one crappy cockadoodle doo and no other thing. <laughs> Ghost card now. This guy's uh this guy's gonna patrol back. When a face up monster you control select like the front attack, you can change the target you can change that target to this card. Once card is trouble balance at the graveyard target one face up. Monster your opponent controls it loses attack one thousand next the end phase. Nah, nothing special. Kinda cool. But nothing special. Who the dragon again? And Soul Absorption is obviously gonna be your repin card again. I can't remember what cards are actually your repins. I didn't check which ones are repins. Uh, Zone, I guess it's like zone or Z one or Z one or Z one or whatever, however you pronounce that. When this card is when the set card is destroyed and set the graveyard, select the most continuous spell or field spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, meh, it's not really anything too fantastic to cry about. Sub, these guys are these guys look uh, like absolute units. Subterra behemoth, uh, phosphor, phosphoric glacier. Oh my God, you're testing me. You can set one card from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use the effect of <laughs> subterra guy. Once per turn, when I face a flip face down, you can try a monster. You special card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same effect, same effect. Queen of Roses again. Ooh, we're gonna get a foil. Gonna be the Black Rose Dragon. Is it gonna be the Black Rose Dragon? Yeah, Synchro? Alright, sorry guys about that interruption. Um, as I was saying, I don't know what this form of thing is reaping, but I can't remember where the hell it comes from. You can have a special for the deck once per turn, you can change this card face up, best special this card stuff, so discard one card from your opponent. Did I pull this or the. No, this is a reprint, definitely, because I did not pull this. Uh, Necro uh, Floor. Uh, Floor. Yeah. <laughs> Scratch up a Villa card, Fags at the Grave, you can special one. Uh, Sorcia. Sorcia de Floor, so it's French, obviously. Sorcia. I did French for in school, but I can't remember a single sentence. So she had a flare at uh, the floor. I think floor is one. Is it floor not flower? French? I can't remember. From your deck. And then we got Crawl Axon. Okay. Cool. Cool card. Cool card. I get it. So, so far, this has been. There's Floor Synchron. Uh, this card stands the graveyard as a Synchron. No, it's Flower, isn't it? Floor is Flower. What? 
Yeah, obviously, because they're flowers. I'm an idiot. It's quite a centigrade as a single material. You can spice some one level two. A lower monster from your hand, so pretty cool, actually. Not a bad effect. Uh, mm, <laughs> why? Interceptor cannon, so this is Easter Island, basically. Once per sure, you can slip this card into face time. That's, just, that's like an old card, I'm pretty sure. That's like an ancient card. Different dimension ground. This turn, any monster that sent to graveyard is removed from play instead. So, so far, this has been the best opening that I've ever had. Um, but also, it's been awful at the same time. It's also terrible at the same time. It's the best opening first 10 packs I've had, but it's also awful at the same time. And awful, but not great. So, it, Noble Knight Joanne, so we've got like a Noble Knight, but it's a, uh, yeah. So this card attacks, it loses turn, attack turn, damage step. This card is in your possession, show by opponent's card, either by battle or a card effect, and since the graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to graveyard, then target one level four, level one more monster in your graveyard, add target to your hand. So not really the best card in the world, a little bit long-winded and stuff, but we'll try and then we Witch of the Black Rose. I remember this card from the show. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's going to be special, uh, it's a four-star tune, which is actually really good. When this card is normal summon when this card is normal summon while well, you control no cards, draw one card and reveal it. If you if the card you drew is not a monster card, send it to graveyard, destroy this card. Ooh, so slightly uh, a little bit of a kind of a tricky one there. Kinda of like a luck on what can needs to be on your side for that. So we got another? Okay, come on, we got, now we're gonna get the Black Rose Dragon, right? Right? No? Okay. <laughs> Dark Rose Fairy. If a tuner monster is special summoned, except you're in a damage step, you can special this card from your hand. If the card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the field to graveyard. Place this on top or bottom of the deck. You can only use the effect of Black Rose Fairy once per turn. So that's Dark Rose Fairy. That's actually kind of cool, though. The second effect, not so much. Well, it's okay. But the special summon is card from a tuner, so I think you could probably do... If a tuner is special summoned. So... I'm trying to think of certain kind of ways. I suppose you could maybe something what goes in the graveyard could work with that. I think. Um, obviously, um, Dark Verge is not a tuner, but there is other ways that you could probably make that work. Great Spirit. If it's going to be anything, that would be like the Metaphys or even Black Red Eyes. Uh, it's Metaphys. I will take the Metaphys Daedalus. I will take that because that card is insane. So that is the. 10 packs, so tree SR is not the best thing, but not the worst in the world, because you did get the Metaphys card. I think you need two of those guys, maybe. Uh, I don't know, two of that, two of the, maybe I can make a deck with two of those guys, it'd be kind of sweet, but I need to pull the second one. Um, uh, so, yeah. I think you need three. Three is going to be amazing, but I know Gold Sark is, I was, as well, I know it's a Gold Sark is an insane card, and I'm. That makes me upset because I am not just for the sake of even for I said that I would try to get you know Vizzo as quick as possible for you guys, but I'm not getting Vizzo as quick as possible. It requires me to pay for this garbage. I hate this. The fact that you like you can't buy this. Obviously, it's kind of like a little bit of slightly um not narcissism. What slightly? Oh my god! I can't think of the word. I actually cannot think of the word. Slightly. Uh, the one that you trash somebody even though you're using it. That word. It's sort of like that, but I can't take it. What is wrong with me? I can't take it that word. That word. I, I refuse to pay for that. Even though you can't buy, like, you can't buy one of these with uh, current, like, with, you think after releasing every new EX truck check, you know, go buy one with a thousand gems, you think they will go back and change this, but they don't. They keep it the same. I, I mean, I might, 440, I might buy one. I don't know. Just to get the one Ghost Arc. Because Ghost Arc is really good, but I'm, I refuse to pay, pay for that. But anyway, that's going to a little bit of a long winded one, but there was a lot to go through, and I was really excited for this one. So I had a lot to talk about there. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did, hit the like button. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff like that. I'll catch you guys next vid. Peace.